Okay, für die letzte kleine Ansage wechsle ich kurz ins Englische. So, I know this was the last lesson before spring break. And I know you're all very excited to party and all that stuff. But don't forget, we have two exams after spring break. And they're not going to be easy. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, this is a higher semester now, so I expect all of you to know your grammar to know your vocabulary, especially. And I know I've been gracious with these things when it comes to grading your exams in the past, but now you're at the point where it's more about the content. You are expected to use the German language correctly. And from your assignments, I can see that some of you are simply not there yet. And those students should really make good use of their time, so. Don't party too hard and kauf mir gesund wieder. I was actually hoping to get a word with you, if you don't mind. Here, let's step into my office. <clears throat> All right, I'm not going to keep you for too long. There's just something quite strange that I have been observing with you. And I've never had this before, so maybe you can shed some light on this. Yeah, let me see if I can find your file. There it is. Now, from the beginning of the year... And this is your first year you had me as your professor, correct? Yes. So, this is your first assignment that you had to do at home. Analyse von Friedrich Schiller's Ode an die Freude. Brilliant. 98%. I remember reading this and thinking to myself, this is a very special student somebody who grasps the German language almost like a native speaker. And that was validated by your next assignment, 96%. But now here's where it gets interesting and where I have a couple of questions for you. The first assignment you had to do here while in class, this one. Remember this? 48%. And I was surprised, but I thought everybody has one of those days. But this is, unfortunate as it may be, not a one-time occurrence. Here's another assignment at home. 95%. Assignment here while in class. 52%. At home. 89% here, 57%. I'm going to ask you straight, and I expect a straight answer from you. Is somebody doing your assignments for you at home? No. You do realize that that will be considered cheating, and I can have you fail this class for that. Well, you better have a good explanation then. How come you're a great A student at home, but as soon as you're here doing your assignments, you can barely break 50%? Something distracting you? Why are you laughing? Something funny? Well... All right, if you don't have any explanation, uh, I don't have any other choice but to have you fail this class. And why don't you tell me what's going on? You don't need to be embarrassed. You can be honest with me. All right, uh, don't blush now. Let me Let me make this easier for you. So, I have been receiving some 
anonymous letters sent to my university mailbox. And they are quite flattering to me, calling me a great professor, a great educator. But after the first couple of letters, it quickly turned into more of a confession. This person writes sentences like, My body is pulsating when I see you. I want to feel your lips against mine. Oh, how I wish we could be together. And also, You look really cute today. Those tight jeans really fit you well. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but... I almost never wear jeans. I don't really agree with this person. I don't think they fit me very well. In fact, I only wore them once this year, believe it or not. And only because I had a little accident with strawberry jam at breakfast that day. And um, I didn't have anything else to wear. That was on a Friday, if I remember correctly. And... I only have one class on Fridays. You wrote those letters, didn't you? And... Is that why you're always sitting in the front row and you're always... wearing those short skirts? Well... Can't say I haven't noticed or looked over on occasion when you crossed your legs slowly from one leg to the other. But I have to make sure still uh, that this is what actually is distracting you. Did you really write those assignments at home yourself? Well, in that case, do you have any objections to me testing you? Just a quick translation. You shouldn't have any difficulties with it if you actually wrote those assignments yourself. Just try to concentrate on the words, not on me. Are you ready? Ich halte ihr die Augen zu. Und küsse sie auf den Mund. Nun lässt sie mich nicht mehr in Ruhe. Sie fragt mich um den Grund. Good. Von Abend spät bis morgens früh. Sie fragt zu jeder Stund. Was hältst du mir die Augen zu, wenn du mir küsst den Mund? Ich sag ihr nicht, weshalb ich's tu, weiß selber nicht den Grund. Ich halte ihr die Augen zu und küss sie auf den Mund. I think we still have a lot of work in front of us if you want to pass those two exams after spring break. So, how about you come back tomorrow, same time, and I'll help you with your studies. Well, there's not going to be anybody here tomorrow or the following week, as there's spring break, as you know. Um, so there won't be anybody distracting us. And I'm sure we can work on your focusing issues that you have. 